Okay, we're going to solve for these four equations and notice that they all look kind of similar to each other, right? But make sure that you know the correct steps to solve each and every one. For the first one, we have 3 to the x is equal to 200. And you see that the x is in the exponent. So in this case, we have to do logarithm on both sides. And let me copy this down again. 3 to the x is equal to 200. And then what we have to do is we have to take log on both sides, but specifically log with the base 3. Okay, so it will be look like this. And I'll do the same right here as well, log base 3. And the reason is because the log base 3 and the 3 right here, when the base are the same, they will cancel each other out. And then we can get x. It's equal to log base 3 of 200. And if your calculator doesn't let you do the little base 3 for the log, then what you have to do is, you have to do this as log of 200. Okay, this is my parentheses. And divided by log of 3. Okay, so you can type this onto your calculator and you see that this is just log. And when we don't put on any number, it means that we have log base 10. But then once you punch this onto your calculator, the answer that you end up with is 4.823. Okay, so we need three numbers after the decimal point. So that's the answer for the four, uh, first one 4.823. But then for the second one, we have x to the third power, it's equal to 200. You'll see that this time, the x is in the base. So this is what we do. Let me write it down again. Three, uh, x to the third power, it's equal to 200. You see the power right here is 3. We are going to take the cube root on both sides. This way, the power and the cube root will cancel each other out. And then when we take the cube on both sides, we don't need to put a plus minus, okay? That's only for square root. Anyways, this is going to be x. Let me just change color back to green. x is equal to the cube root of 200. And once again, you do this on your calculator, and then you will get 5.848. So that will be the answer for this one, 5.848. Next one, we have x to the one third power is equal to 5. Well, let me copy this down. The x is in the base, and then we have the power is equal to one third, right? This case, what we have to do is we raise both sides to the third power. This is technically 3 over 1. And the reason is because when you do 3 times one third, it's just 1. So they cancel out pretty much. And I will have to do the same right here as well five to the third power, and now let me just write this down. This will be x equals to five to the third power, means we have to do five times five times five, and that will be 125. So that will be the answer for this. And lastly, we have this, log base three of x is equal to five. And you see that we have a logarithm equation. The x is in the x, uh, the x is in the logarithm, right? So we have to, let me just write it down again, log base three of x, it's equal to 5. We are going to look at this and pretend that they are the exponents. And now we'll do 3 to this exponent so that this and that will cancel. And then I will also have to put on a 3 to this exponent. So I have to work out 3 to the fifth power. So in this case, let me write it down. x, you see they cancel out, so we just have x. This is equal to 3 to the fifth power means you do 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? 5 of them. And you work this out, you get 243. So this right here will be the answer for this one. And that's it.